Look at this storm on the radar. Here it is. It's located 155 miles to the south of Lake Charles, which, by the way, has a population of 78,000 people. And again, we'll take a direct hit from this hurricane later on tonight. There are hurricane warnings out for the entire coast. Sustained winds in the eye wall of this storm are almost 150 miles per hour. It is a very strong category four storm. It very likely could reach cat five strength. It's likely to continue to strengthen making landfall sometime right around 1 a.m. with sustained winds of 150 to give you perspective. Cat five winds are 155, so it will be just under category five strength. Again, could be a cat five storm when it makes landfall right near the Texas Louisiana border continues, maintains its hurricane strength all the way up through Louisiana, crosses into Arkansas tomorrow afternoon, moves through Arkansas as a tropical storm and then really deteriorates through the end of the week into the weekend moving across Kentucky and up into New England this weekend. The Perhaps most dangerous part of this storm will be the storm surge, which will be the worst for the western half of Louisiana. It's just a big marshland down there. So this entire area you see in red is likely to see 15 to 20 feet. Think about that as a wall of water four times the height of you coming on shore. That wall of water, the storm surge, is likely to go 30 miles inland. So these entire areas are likely to be completely underwater.